Hello again, it's Lock Noob, and I have another Banggood.com review for you today. Um, what am I reviewing? Well, I'm reviewing uh, this uh, graphite powder for use in lock lubrication. Um, graphite powder is recommended by a lot of kind of lock manufacturers uh, to to lubricate their locks instead of uh, you know, spray oils and lubricants, um, which may uh, dry out over time and make the lock. Uh, not function as well as it should. Uh, while a dry powder, this like graphite, um, is a little kinder to the locks, you've got to be sparing with it, not put too much in, uh, and still provides uh, lubrication for said lock. Um, worth noting actually when you do use graphite is to check that your lock hasn't been oiled or greased beforehand because what will happen is you get a combination of dry powder and grease which will turn into this horrible black gunk which uh, will definitely rob you of feedback if you try to pick them and um, may actually affect this uh, operation as well. So, so don't do that. Check first. Okay. So, um, for those of you who don't know, Banggood contacted me to say, would I like to do some reviews of their equipment? I said yes. And I tried to find stuff which uh, newer intermediate pickers would be interested in. This um, pot of graphite here um, is, I think, £1.60 delivered um, currently on the website, depending on the exchange rate of the day. If you use a 25% off voucher and the link below, um, I think it comes to somewhere around £1.20 delivered for this uh, this, this graphite powder, uh, which is pretty good. So um, how can we see how it works? Well, what I've done is I've just cleaned up a, a, a little Euro cylinder. Uh, not heavily cleaned it, but I've, I've given it a, a really nice wipe down and, uh, and knocked any of the uh, residue and dirt out of it. So we've got um, a key which works. Um, quite a, a clean uh, cylinder and I've even just uh, quickly cleaned up these key pins. Now that means of course that they don't have um, any lubrication on them. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to quickly uh, reassemble this now, um, not on camera because it's a couple of minutes of your life you won't get back, um, and then we're going to add the graphite powder and disassemble it so you can see what's gone inside, gone on inside. Okay, uh, back in two seconds. So, what we have now is uh, our, our assembled Euro cylinder, and um, it's it's okay. So it works okay. It's a bit sticky actually. I think one of the uh, key pins is worn, and therefore it's a little shorter than it should be, so it catches a bit. Um, but let's let's lubricate this up. So I'm just going to remove the key. Now, when you use this, bear in mind this is a dry powder, and um, you've got to be careful because well, let's have a look. I'll just put a little dot here. So if I squeeze it. Um, it can be a little reticent to come out. Oh, there we go. Let's try again. There we go. So there we go. That's how it works. It's just it does sometimes clog up that nozzle, so be careful. Um, so what we're going to do is just add a little puff of this into um, here. There we go. And I've probably put too much in, and it's all come out the back. But nevertheless, you can always shake out. The remainder and this is a real mess by the way um, then what you do is you work it back and forth in with the key okay and then turn it a number of times now what you'll find is that I've used far too much you've got to use a, a much gentle hand with this um, otherwise you'll end up wasting all the graphite but nevertheless we can uh, prove a bit of a point here when how um, well you end up covering uh, the inside of the lock in that graphite. So let me just tidy this up a, a little bit and get that out of the way. There we go. That's why I put the piece of paper down so that we can get rid of it nice and easily. And let's disassemble the lock. Now I've managed to get some powder on the um, on my pinning tray, but nevertheless. So the key's got a bit of um, powder in, as you can see. Um, the reason I worked it back and forth is to work the carbon sort of um, into those uh, uh, key and driver pins. Um, that's that's the most important thing. Um, and to turn it is uh, to try to um, get some carbon. Um, 
or graphite around the inside of the cylinder itself. Okay, so uh, let's put this in. Ooh. Make sure I've got the follower right first. There we go. Ah, and now you can definitely see, can't you, the difference. So um, I'm going to use my, my, my hand here and wipe across and you can see um, how that graphite is already acting as lubricant around the whole inside of that cylinder. If I tip out um, a key pin or two, hopefully we'll see uh, a bit of a difference there as well. So I'll just put this to one side and hopefully you can see that they all have a little coating of graphite. They've changed colour remarkably. Um, same with, let's uh, take out a couple of driver pins as well. There we go. And these have also got um, a kind of a, a, a slight darkening on them which indicates that you've got graphite powder on there. So. Um, and you also see the transfer of the graphite powder onto my pinning tray from the pins. So it really does work and it does make the lock, lock feel a lot smoother and less squeaky. Um, you have to take my word for that. Clearly I'd recommend using a lot less than I, I put in the lock. Um, but you know I, I'm sort of new to um, lubricating locks with graphite powder myself. Nevertheless um, it works an absolute treat so you know if you do have some locks which are a bit squeaky that need a bit of lubrication and you want to do it um, with a dry lubricate, lubricant um, I, I really don't think you can really do badly just by spending just over a pound on, on this uh, lock graphite it's, it's pretty good stuff I have to say um, even if it is a little bit messy on the old fingers look at that it looks like I've been uh, uh, doing some drawing with some artist pencils so Okay, hope you found that interesting. Um, hope you uh, are, are laughing a little bit about how much mess I caused. Uh, nevertheless, it's a, it's a user rather than the product, and the product, I think, is pretty good. Okay, I'll see you next time.